and today I am back in the Pokemon Go series. It's been a little while because I've been trying to figure stuff out, like the GPS stuff and all that. Um, I have gotten it figured it out. I have figured it out, let's just say that. Um, I'm not going to say anything else on that because you guys will see in the future. So this is where we left off. We can throw the ball and catch the Pokemon. Throw the ball, catch the Pokemon. Shake, shake, shake. And we caught him, but nothing happens after that. Today, we're going to be changing that. Obviously, the ball rolling off is not what we want. Um, that's not good. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be catching the Pokemon, so actually storing it. And then we're also going to be um, finding it. So we're not going to be doing the GPS, but like when you are walking around, when a Pokemon spawns, you click them and it takes you to the catching screen. We're going to be doing that too. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Open up a new scene and add a plane. This plane will do absolutely nothing right now. This is just for for nothing. We don't really need it here, but we're going to add it there. So add a new script. Call it Pokemon Manager. Add another one. Call it New Pokemon. And then add another one called Pokemon. And then we're going to add one more, but we're not going to add it right now. Open all three of those up. Okay, once they are all open, let's drag that over there. We're going to go ahead and edit the new Pokemon script for now. So this is going to be our script where we assign our Pokemon. So this is not going to be a mono behavior. This is basically going to be our uh, script where we tell it what our HP is and all the CP and type and all that. So that's this. This is basically for the storing for now. We're not going to do anything with it right now. Um, but we will later. So we're just going to go ahead and make it. So add three variables. Uh, one is a string. And both two of them are ints. So one of them is HP. One of them is the combat power, the CP, and then the type. That's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and delete all the functions in here. And just make one called new Pokemon. Okay, in here we need to add a couple of things. We need to add new CP, so this is going to be our new CP, our new HP, so this is basically for our list that we're going to make in a little bit, and then a type. Okay. Once you do that, just say CP equals new CP. HP equals new HP. We're going to do that for now. We're going to change it later. Okay. Save it. Now, this is basically our list function. So this is basically where we're going to get our list. So in the Pokemon Manager, delete all the functions in there. And we're just going to say list. So we need to add... We're going to say above the monopavior thing up here, so above the class main, you're going to say using system.collections.generic. That's pretty good right there. That basically allows us to use our lists and such, all that. So basically we're going to say list, and in here we're just going to put our new Pokemon script. Okay. Oops, don't want that. Next, we're just going to say this is our Pokemon. This is going to be our new Pokemon list. And we're just going to say it equals new. It equals new list. New Pokemon. There we go. That's pretty good. Next, all we need is a string called Pokemon. I will show you why in a minute. This is for the catching. Next, all we say is void start. That's a function. And then public void after that, after the start function, we're going to say grab Pokemon. Okay. And when this is basically for after we catch it, we're going to call this function in the manager. So we're going to have the HP, so we're, when we call it, we're going to tell it what our HP is, what our CP is, and what our type is. 
Then we're just going to say Pokemon dot add. And we are going to add the new, new Pokemon. About that. Okay. In here, we're just going to say the CP, the HP. Actually, we need to do HP, CP, then the type. Actually, it may be the other way around. Let's go check real quick. Pokemon, it is. It's CP, then HP, then type. That is awesome. We have that done. Next, we basically don't want this to destroy when we load a new level. So we're, we're basically just going to say don't destroy a load. This that game object. Easy peasy. Done. Now, this does not work yet because we need to actually load the next level. So this is pretty simple. All we need to do is say, in this Pokemon script, all we need to say is public Pokemon Manager. Manager. So we're basically grabbing the Pokemon Manager. Then, the ID. So the ID, and then finally, we're just going to say unmouse down. I will change it later if it does not work on mobile. I am not 100% sure yet. So manager dot Pokemon equals ID. Then application dot load level two. So basically we're loading the catching level right now. That's finished for now. So let's go ahead and go back into Unity. One error, two errors, that's okay. There we go. That should fix it. Again, sorry about the noise. Okay. Now we need to add a couple of things. So first we need to add an empty, call it manager. Then we need to add cube. Move it up move it over here. And then give it this one we need to have it, ne it needs to have the Pokemon script. So go ahead and drag that on. Then on the manager, you need the Pokemon manager. Now, this is pretty simple. We just need to assign the manager and then the ID. So the idea ID of this one would be Pidgeot. Oh, that's not spell. The ID will be Pidgeot. There we go. Save it. And we're going to save it as main. Okay. This is pretty much done. Now we just need to go back to the catching scene here. And we need to move this Pidgeot right here into a resources folder. So resources. There we go. Pull the Pidgeot in there as a prefab. And then delete them. Actually, before we delete them, we need to create an empty. And move it to where the Pokemon is. Then delete the Pokemon, the Pidgeot, and then rename this Pokemon Spawn. Okay. Last script we need to make for right now will be the Spawn Pokemon script. So Pokemon, or Spawn Pokemon. Okay, reload. And all we need to do is delete the update function, leave the start, all we need to say is instantiate. And then we, in here, we're going to instantiate the Pidgeot. So we're going to say resources.load. And we're not going to instantiate. Uh, here, I'll show you. So basically, we're loading the game object. So whatever game object we found. So let me explain this before I do this. So in here, we have don't destroy on load. So this means this game object will be in this scene. So then we have this string pokey on. And this uh, this ID here, so that whatever we catch when it when we click it right before it loads the level, the catching level, the it sets the Pokemon. The Pokemon that's here, so whatever Pokemon that we're catching. So it sets it here. So the ID, so whatever Pokemon we catch will be set in here. So when we click the Pokemon, it's gonna be like, okay, the Pokemon that we are currently trying to catch. Is whatever Pokemon it is. So whatever Pokemon it is, it's going to instantiate. 
so in spawn Pokemon, we're going to instantiate whatever Pokemon it is that we are uh, trying to, to catch. So we're going to say game object to find manager. Manager, there we go. And we're going to say dot get component. Pokemon manager dot Pokemon and then we need to say this out transfer dot rotation and position so position then rotation there we go that is finished for now so now if we go back to our main scene our main scene not our catching scene there we go and we click them, which we can't because our camera is in the wrong position. So let's go ahead and move that along with you. Click it. Nothing happens. The reason for that is because at the application load level thing is doesn't need to be two; it needs to be one. Now, when we click it, it, should load the level. Now, if we look on the manager, we're trying to catch a Pidgeot, but currently nothing happens because we don't have the script assigned. So we're going to save this scene. Go ahead and assign that script, spawn Pokemon, go back into the main scene, and then click play. Once we click it, as you can see, it spawns the Pidgeot. We can catch him. One, two, three, four, and nothing happens after that. But that's actually okay. So let's go ahead and go to our to our Pokeball Manager script. And after this, in update, so actually instead of has caught, we don't want to set has caught to true. We can delete that from last time. There we go. And instead, we're going to say game object .find manager .get component Pokeball man Pokemon manager. Sorry. Then we're going to say dot grab Pokemon. Now, there's a problem with this. We don't have the CP or anything of the other Pokemon. So, how we're going to do this, we're going to add a couple of things in here. We're going to add the CP, the HP, and the type. Then let's add the string and all that for them. Int. There we go. Okay. That's pretty simple. And now we're just going to say other.gameobject.getComponent. And we're just going to get the, um, the health. So this is the Pokemon. Um, I'm just going to call it main Pokemon. This is going to be the script. And dot. And this will be the cp so dot cp same thing just change it to hp then after you do that all we need to do is grab the type okay now we're gonna get a lot of errors because main pokemon doesn't exist yet so the pokemon does not exist yet so main pokemon so we have our Pokemon that we're going to catch, and then the Pokemon, the Pokemon that we are catching. So basically, all we need is public, and HP, public, and CP, and public string type. There. That's simple. Whatever the Pokemon is, let's go ahead and go back to our Pidgeot here, and add that script onto him. So, main Pokemon added over, and there's an error. So let's go ahead and clear this out to see what the problem is. And it looks as if Start Quarantine cannot have that many things. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to change this.
There we go. That should work. Okay, that's okay. We need to go back in here and we need to save this first. There we go. And we only have no, or we need right here. And that's the reason because we have to assign this stuff. So CP, HP, then finally the type. Then we are clear. So go back into here, clear it. Everything's fine. Assign that script. And for this guy, um, later on it'll be random. So we're going to be set it to a random thing. So we're going to do that in just a little bit. Well, let's actually do that right now. It's pretty simple. So all we need to do is on start or awake. Public void awake. All you need to do is say HP equals random dot range between zero and let's just say 200. Same thing with everything else except for the types so CP zero to 200 and the HP needs to be like zero to 30 or zero to 70. Let's do that. And that's done. And the type, we need to set this type to be a Pidgeot, because it is a Pidgeot. We need to apply it. Delete them. And that's finished. Now we can basically just go ahead and do this. So click it, throw the Pokemon ball, Pokeball, to catch the Pokemon. No errors. Let's look at, let's look at the manager. And we can't see anything. So to show what we're doing, all we need to do is say debug.log. Mm -hmm. Debug.log. The HP, the CP, and then the type. Easy as that. Save it. Go back into Unity. There's an error that is okay. And all we need to do is just say, instead of comma, we need to say plus. Because it's a string plus great Pokemon. Go, go back into Unity, play one last time, and this will work. So throw the ball. Again, the gliding glitch, weird, Unity, just buggy. He's a one a 14 8 Pidgeot. But we can't see that well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here and we're going to add spaces between everything. Just to where we can see a little bit better what's going on. There we go. And that is it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys for watching. The next tutorial for this uh, series may or may not be the GPS stuff. I can't tell you. I will do it for sure. Um, it will be awesome. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, and this is an amazing Pokemon for, for a first catcher here. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.